It's fun to take a look back at our favorite anime. Take Pokemon. On the surface, Ash catch him as a kid on an adventure collecting cute monsters. But when you start asking questions, things get dark. Somewhere out there in the Pokemon universe, people are frying Pikachu burgers and grinding Rhydon horns to sell supplements on their conspiracy podcast. That being said, here are five of our favorite anime heroes who are actually jerks. Goku is one of the most well-known anime characters outside of Japan. He's often seen as Japan's version of Superman. Both are aliens from a doomed planet, both were raised by Earthlings and gained superhuman strength and flight. They also both have an unwavering sense of honor and right and wrong. The difference is, Superman is a loving father and husband with a steady job, while Goku is a deadbeat idiot. Clark Kent is a family man. It's hard to picture him without Lois, and being a father is a big part of his character. Goku, on the other hand, will watch from the sidelines while his kids get beat to ever-living hell, just so they can release their true power. Goku doesn't even fight for the sake of saving people. According to creator Akira Toriyama, Goku just likes a good fight. Which is why he never takes a fight seriously until his friends start getting bodied on the battlefield. He literally tosses the bad guy about to destroy the world a magic bean that grants him full energy and health, so that it's a fair fight. Even in death, Goku sucks. In a world where people are easily wished back to life, Goku has chosen to stay dead so he can train with other dead fighters. In doing so, he misses the birth of his second son and knowingly forces his wife to live as a widow. Wow, father of the year. Tenchi Moyo is about a boy growing up near a secluded rural shrine in Japan. His world turns upside down when seven beautiful women from space come to Earth and fall madly in love with him. There are lightsabers, comedy, action, and even a sentient spaceship that turns into a cute rabbit cat thing. The running gag of Tenchi Moyo is that Tenchi can't choose a single girl because that would mean losing everyone else. And he thinks of them as his family. In fact, some of them are his family. Several women trying to get with Tenchi are his straight up aunts and grandmas. Despite the casual incest, it never really crossed the line. Tenchi can love all the girls, including his aunts, platonically, and it'll never get weirder than that. At least until a decade later, when another season was finally released. Tenchi marries not only all six women, including his aunts, but also his sentient cat spaceship in a single unholy ceremony. And every day we grow further from God. Conan is a popular kid's show about prodigy detective Shinichi Kudo. It's one of the longest running anime in Japan. In the West, you might know it as Case Close. Early in the story, Shinichi is turned into a child, but continues his detective work secretly using the name Conan Edogawa. Only a handful of people know his true identity. Not even his girlfriend Ron knows. This is supposedly for everyone's safety, as anyone who knows the truth risks being killed by Shinichi's enemies. Except even as a child, Shinichi and everyone around him stumbles into stabbings, hangings, drownings, arsons, terrorism, and every other kind of killing imaginable. Shinichi is also kind of an edgelord. He's a good detective, so police often ask him to help with cases. So he's seen a lot of dead bodies. And he loves to remind you of that. On a date with Ron at the amusement park, they watch a guy literally get his head ripped off in a brutal act of murder. Did I mention this is a kid's show? Later, despite Ron clearly being upset seeing a guy's head popped off like a wine cork, Shinichi smiles like a complete lunatic and tells her to get over it. Very romantic. Then there's keeping a secret for everyone's safety. After he's turned into a child, the murder only ramps up. But as a child, Shinichi has to blend in with other actual children. They're with him on practically every homicide he uncovers. These kids are almost killed or kidnapped every other week when they hang out with Shinichi. Even his girlfriend needs to survive the occasional serial killer bomb threat when around him. Why does Shinichi even need to keep his secret? Surely if you mention his situation, parents wouldn't send their kids off on playdates with death. Yu Yu Hakusho follows a delinquent named Yusuke Udameshi who dies but gets a second chance at life as a spirit detective, fighting ghouls, ghosts, and demons. It's one of the best action anime of all time, but there was always one fight that was always kind of... Yeesh. Here's the setup. Some villains kidnap a girl and hire evil demons as bodyguards. Yusuke and his friends Kuwabara and Botan battle through the baddies until they reach a demon named Miyuki. Now Miyuki is fully down to murder Yusuke and his crew, but Kuwabara isn't willing to hit a woman. She mocks Kuwabara's sexist views of chivalry, but Yusuke not having these hangups, punches her in the boob and kicks her through the wall. Yusuke's equal rights, equal fights mentality sounds pretty woke, but he's actually only going easy on her because according to him, our missus is really a mister. How does he know this? Because he groped her at the start of the fight. Miyuki tearfully yells to be treated as an equal and Yusuke responds by telling her, if you're gonna be a man, do it all the way, not halfway. 
And in case you think he means be a man in a metaphorical sense, in the Japanese version, he says, Set in feudal Japan, Inuyasha is an action romance anime about Kagome, a girl from modern day Tokyo and her half human dog demon boyfriend, Inuyasha. Despite Kagome being 15 and Inuyasha being 150, it was always a given that the pair would end up together. But then there's Inuyasha's brother, Sashomaru. Unlike Inuyasha, Sashomaru is a full demon. Although not necessarily evil, he's not above killing humans, or even his brother in Kagome. He teeter-totters on murdering them and helping them to further his own goals. Enter Rin. Rin is a seven-year-old girl who meets a wounded Sashomaru in the forest. She nurses him back to health and is mauled by wolves for her trouble. Feeling pity for the girl, Sashomaru revives her, and she ends up joining his quest. In a sweet character arc, Ren sort of becomes Shishomaru's daughter, and through her, he learns not to hate all humans and becomes more of a hero in the story. Wow, adorable. Nothing creepy about that. Cut to, several years later in the sequel series, Yashihime, Princess Half Demon. This story follows the daughter of Inuyasha and Kagome, only she's not the main character. Instead, the main characters are the half-human twins of Sashomaru. Guess who the mom is? Sashomaru rescues and raises Rin, only to have children with her when she's just 16 years old. And those are our favorite anime heroes who are actually awful. Who do you think tops the list? Do you know a hero who's even worse? Let us know in the flame war that is inevitably going to happen in the comments. After all, anime fans are well known for their calm and collected and respectful comments on the internet. 